Today we're making these cute little oval shaped pendants. So they're wire wrapped and you can tuck them onto a key ring or a necklace. They've got between 10 and 12 beads on them, these ones. So you can sort of decide how big they are. Then we're also going to make these little bar necklaces. They have about seven beads on them, so I've either done them in any design or with this chakra rainbow colour design there. So they have only one loop on the side, so the oval beaded ones have two loops up there. So I just wanted to show you how to do one of each, so you can decide whether you do one or two loops on yours. For the bar necklace we need about 5 inches of our wire. This is 18 gauge wire or 1 millimeter wire. Now just starting to make one of the loops on one end. We just start by wrapping the wire around our round nose pliers. So leaving a little tail at the start there. Then just gently wrapping the rest around your round nose pliers. So you can see that little piece of tail there. So this is the one that we're just going to do one loop on the bale for. So we just gently wrap that around the other piece of wire. This wire is quite firm so sometimes you need to grab your other pair of tools just to hold it nice and tight. Wrapping it right around and then crimping it down to make it nice and secure. So you can see that one little loop there with the wire wrapped around nice and tight. So you can just straighten them up and that's going to be one side of your bar necklace. So now you just pop all your beads on. So I've just got a beautiful selection there of all the different ones. Red lace agate, carnelian, amber, malachite, apatite, sodalite and amethyst to make our rainbow. Starting at the other end then we just need to bend our wire across a little bit. So grabbing it with your tool and just bending that wire outwards so that you can start to make your loop around. So grabbing it at the top of the bend, bringing that wire around your round nose pliers so that you can make a little loop there. And then you just need to wrap it around the wire to make the bottom of another bale. Once you've done that, you can cut your little tail off and just make sure it's crimped down nice and tight. So just straighten up your loops on the end, make sure they're facing the same way. All right, so for the oval shaped necklace, just need about six inches for this one. It's always better to have a little bit longer than not quite enough. Will be different depending on what size your beads are and how many you're using. So for this one, we're doing two loops. So just start off with leaving a little tail there and just slowly wrapping it around your round nose pliers. And when you've wrapped it around two times, just need to grab that little piece of tail and wrap it around the other piece of wire. and crimping it down so it's nice and secure. Then 
just checking your loops as well on the bail, making sure they're nice and straight and that you're happy with them. Then it's time to pop your beads on again. I'm just using Appetite beads for this one here. Beautiful blue aqua sort of colour. So when you're happy with the amount of beads that you've got on there, you just gently start moulding the wire upwards, so the end piece upwards towards the bale that you've got, just so it can meet at the bottom there. Straightening the bale there, and you can just see that that's about to connect there as well. So just holding it over and then wrapping it around that bottom part of the bale. Keeping your bail nice and straight and just wrapping it around a few times so that it's nice and secure. Then you can cut your tail piece off and just crimping that piece end piece of wire in nice and tight. So you can either pop it onto a necklace like that one there or onto a little key ring. You could even pop them on an earring for some cute little funky loops. They're so simple these designs. Really you can use whatever beads you have in stock. 